Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Dyson V10 Total Clean Cordless Vacuum Cleaner. What I'll do in this video is I'll give you a rundown of all the features and benefits that it offers and also what all the accessories and tools do because it does come with quite an impressive range. So we're all charged up and let's get going. Now to start off with I'll concentrate on the vacuum itself. I'll cover the accessories and different bits in a moment. So first of all, this is a fairly standard design where you've got the motor at the top and then you've got the accessories and things like the drive head at the bottom. So this is a fairly standard design for Dyson now. They've done this for several years. And the basically the way it operates is very easy. You've got the switch at the top here. And it is trigger based. And basically with this one, you have got up to 60 minute runtime. That's clearly on the minimum suction. You have got three power settings on this. The switch is on the top here. So I'll just show you. And what that means is that, so yes, you can get up to 60 minute runtime on the minimum setting. If you are using the medium or the high settings, Although the suction is a lot better, and to be fair, it is fantastic, what you will find is that the runtime on the cleaner is reduced quite a bit. And that can also have an impact, depending if you're using the tools, so compared to something like the crevice tool. So if you're using the main motor head, then again, that can reduce the runtime. To empty the bin on the Dyson V10, it's very easy. You've got a red handle on the side here, and all you need to do is make sure you hold it over a bin when you do this because you don't want the dirt to go everywhere. So you just pull that down, the flap opens at the bottom and then all the dirt comes out. A common question I get asked in a showroom or through a website is how easy they are to clean. Now what I have done is I'll provide a link here to show you how to clean it properly because I have done a separate video to this. So if you want to take the bin off to clean it because every now and then you'll want to give this a, a good clean through. There is a little switch underneath here and if you press that then the bin comes off. So that's really easy. You can just give that a, a white round. Uh, you can give it a rinse depending on how dirty it is. And what you will find is that you can give this a quick brush round. Uh, once you've cleaned it and then it's quite easy to put back together. That just locates back underneath then you're ready to go. Something else to note while we're on the subject of the bin is the capacity of it. On this one it's 0.76 litres and if you're comparing it to other cordless vacuums on the market then it is a huge bin and the main advantage is that you're not having to empty it so often and especially if you're comparing it to some of the earlier Dyson where say the V6 was around 0.4 litres then that's almost twice the capacity of some of the earlier models which is fantastic. Now I know we've covered how to clean the bin, but what I'll also mention is the filter on the back. This is very easy to take off. All you need to do is just twist it. And as it shows on there, it's got a little picture of a tap. And what that basically means is that you can just give it a quick rinse underwater. The only thing you do have to do is you have to make sure it's completely dry before you put it back in. If you don't, or if it's not completely dry, then it can damage the vacuum and that wouldn't be covered under any warranty. And then to put it back on, all you do is just put it on there and then twist it. When you're using the vacuum, clearly one thing you want to know is when it needs recharging. And on here you've got basically three LEDs. I'll try and show you on here, it might not be that clear. But you can see there is just one LED that was lit up, so clearly this needs charging at the moment. And what you'll find is when you plug it into charge, it will flash to tell you that it's charging. And to charge it, it comes with a standard charger. And that just slots in the front here, but by far the easiest way, and with it, also with this vacuum cleaner, it does come with a wall bracket. So it's this, and this is designed so that you can put the Dyson into the bracket. So it sits in like that. And basically when it's in there, as long as you've connected the charger into that, then it will charge while it's on the wall mount. That's by far the best way to do it. 
because what you will find is when it is fully charged it will turn off on its own. The other advantage is you have got space at the bottom here for a couple of tools and to put that on the wall it is easy you just got the two screws holes there and to try and help you you have got the cable the cord at the back as well so once you've actually got the charger sort of fixed within it then you can tidy the cable up as well so it is a really good design but very very simple to fix so the next thing I'll move on to is the tools and accessories it comes with this is the main lance that it comes with and all of the tools that I'll show you can be used with this so they just slot on to the back view like that so even if you're using some of the smaller tools then if you want to get up high then you can just attach them on but what I'll do let's just take that off and make it a little bit easier now the first one is this this is called the direct drive cleaner head and this is normally the main floor head that you would use and just take that off the main advantage of this is it is quite a universal head and what you'll find that you've got two types of bristles you've got the black bristles which are quite soft and you've got the red ones which are slightly stiffer and this is really good for mainly things like short pile carpets laminate floors it can be pretty much used on on any type of surface what you'll also find is it is easy to keep clean you've you just pop a coin in the side that just rotates and you can take the brush out so for cleaning purposes that's really good this is the next main floor tool that the Dyson V10 comes with and what you'll find this is called the soft roller cleaner head and you may have seen different adverts especially Dyson adverts that this is mainly used to pick up larger particles things like breakfast cereal on say a laminate floor um, this is really where it comes into its own and again with this it is as it says a, a soft roller finish and what you'll find when it comes to cleaning that you slightly different on this one you've got a coin if you just pop a coin under here and that just twists and you can take that section off and then the whole of the brush can come out when it comes to cleaning it now the first accessory it comes with for using it as a handheld vacuum would be this this is the crevice tool and this is called the rigid crevice tool because in one of the other models it has got a flexible crevice tool but what you can do is you can just put it in the end there you just got the red button and that's universal across all of the tools and accessories and when you've got that in you can use the cleaner as a handheld cleaner so especially with this if you're doing into little corners or up in the ceiling into corners to get the cobwebs away then that's a really good and useful design the next tool it comes with is called the combination tool and basically with this the reason it's called a combination is because it's two tools in one and what it will do is you've got an upholstery brush at the front and all you do is you press that button there that will raise up and then you've got a soft dusting brush and same principle you've got the red button that's where it just latches into the handheld unit the next one it comes with is called this this is the mattress tool and clearly this is designed for mattresses um, so it's got quite a quite a wide head on there so you're not having to vacuum for too long when you're vacuuming your mattress the next one I'll show you is this this is the mini motorized head and this is really designed so it is a rotating brush I'll show you that actually Let's pop it in in the vacuum so as you can see it rotates so if you are doing things like the stairs or car seats for example this this is a really good tool and what you'll also find is that you can clean it so just pop a coin in the side rotate it that brush can come out so if you have got things like hairs or things that things just stuck around it then it's easy to remove and take off now this tool and the next tool I think are quite nifty and they're really interesting this is basically an extension hose and I'll show you on on the vacuum it's easier to, to show you so all you do is you put that on and then you get one of the tools so if we just grab the 
mattress tool. And the idea is this is actually a flexible hose. It's only a short hose, and this is called the, the basically an extension hose. And what you can do is you can just extend it. It's only a little bit. It's I would guess around 30 centimeters. Um, but it's a really good, useful tool. So if you're going up the stairs, if you've got some awkward corners to get into, then that can be quite good. It is a transparent design as well. So if you do need to see any blockages, then it's a, a very easy one to, to use. The next one I'll show you, and again, it's quite a, quite a nifty tool. This is called the up top adapter. And previously they have done an up top tool. It's a bit of a mouthful. But what they've done is they've actually made it universal for all of these accessories. So what you can do is if you put that into there, and again, I'll show you on the vacuum. And what you can do is you can actually rotate this. So if you're doing on top of a cupboard, then, and again, you can use it with the extension hose. So even if it's high up, you can still do it. And what you do is if, if you're down at the bottom, then you can rotate that. So if you want to get on top of cupboards, then just do that. You've got different angles you can work to. So clearly you wouldn't really want to use it there, but just rotate it and it, it's quite an angle that it goes to. And I just think that's a quite a simple design, but a really, really effective tool. And it does come with this as well. If you are interested in buying one of these, I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. I hope you've enjoyed this quick video on the Dyson V10 Total Clean Cordless Vacuum Cleaner. Please give us a thumbs up on a YouTube video and leave any comments or questions below. Thanks very much.